Hello folks, I'm back up in Mid Wales. I've got Toby with me and I'm at Lynn Clue Air Dog. It's my first time here and a spot I'm heading for. I've only ever seen it from a distance when I've been driving up to North Wales. It looks a nice little spot. So I'm making my way there now and hopefully I can find somewhere nice to set up for the night. So I got lucky and I found myself a nice little spot to set up. That's the only bit of flat ground in the area. If I wasn't there, I'd have had to set up in the woods for the night, in the shade with no views. So I can get food on the go now and chill out. I've got a nice spicy homemade curry tonight. Bit of rice and a naan bread. This has worked out okay, it's a nice little spot. So I'm gonna chill out now and enjoy a nice drink. And I got a few bottles tonight from a local brewery in Aberdeen called Grey Trees. And since I've been doing the channel, whenever I've had a drink, you see me enjoying a beer or an ale or a whiskey. But to be honest, I've never been into beer until a few years ago. So the bloke I founded this, he's from Aberdeen, his name's Ray Davis, and he found her in 2011 and it's taken off, it's doing really well. He's also got a pub in Aberdeen that serves all his drinks called the National Tap. It's a lovely little pub. And the reason I got into this was I was over at Abergavenny Food Festival a few years back and he had a stall over there and I was chatting to him and fair play to him. He just gave me two bottles of these and these are the ones Afghan Pale Ale. So I went home, I tried them and I really enjoyed them. It's a nice drink. And ever since then, I've started dabbling in beers and ales, and I tend to enjoy them. So we'll crack this open now. So it's called Afghan Pale Ale. It's 5.4%. And it's won a few awards. It's got a Champion Beer of Wales 2017, and Champion Beer of Britain. And it's also a regional cask winner. And they've given it the name Afghan Pale Ale, and it says on the back, Indian pale ale was served to the British troops during the Anglo-Afghan wars in the 1800s. That's a real good drink. It's nice and light and refreshing. I've seen a lot of birds of prey up here today. I saw a pair of buzzards. I've seen a few red kites. I heard a peregrine falcon, but I didn't see it. And it's supposed to be ospreys here. I haven't seen an osprey in years. I think I may have spotted one earlier. But it's too far away to be sure. But there's a lot of fish and a lot of trout in this res. And it's supposed to be nice tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled. It'll be a nice little treat to see an osprey. Huge reservoir this. 
If you watched my last video and I visited the source of the River Severn, that's a few miles to my west, and they built this reservoir to regulate the flow of the River Severn. They started construction on it in 1963. And it took four years to finish, but they flooded a lot of farmland here and several farms. When I was doing research on the area today, I came across a YouTube video from 2022. Remember we had all those droughts? And it was drone footage of this, and it was totally dry. Apart from, it looked like just a river flowing through there. And you could see all the old stone farm buildings. In front of me in the distance, there's a dam. I stopped to see it on the way here. It's huge. It's a spectacular sight. And down below it is a historical site, Brintay Lead Mines. They operated from 1708 to 1884. If ever in the area, it's worth a visit. It's quite an interesting sight. got a bit of rain coming in, I was expecting it. So I'm going to crack open number two now. I've got three bottles left, <laughs> I'm not going to drink them all. So we've got JPR's Pale Ale, which is named after JPR Williams, a rugby player. And I've got Black Road Stout. And this one then, Into the Valley. So I think, I don't know which one to go for. I think I'm going to give this one a try. Into the valley. The last one was really nice. Really enjoyed it. Oh wow. That's really good. I think it's got a bit of a chocolatey taste to it. When I picked it up yesterday, I remember now the young lad that served me, fair play to him, he had a bit of knowledge on a beer, and he was telling me about it. He did mention one of them's got a bit of a chocolatey taste. So it must be that one, into the valley. Yeah, it's good, really good. I got a little fire on the go now. I've put some shale on the grass so I don't scorch it. I'm gonna give number three a try. JPR. Why not? It's Saturday night. Let's have a little read of it. A traditional British pale ale, well balanced beer, brewed of crystal and Maris Otter pale malts, infused with US Chinook, Cascade, and Sinco hops, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. This imparts both a citrus aroma and citrus taste. Sounds good. So the rain's coming down and it's nice and cozy. I've got a fire going there. It's quite a nice night actually. Another beauty. <laughs> these are really good. And the price is good too. Whenever you go and buy all these craft beers now in the supermarkets, the price is ridiculous. And these are a good price. And I'll be honest, <laughs> these are 
some of the nicest I've tried. They're really good. I've had a few people mention they've been missing the old whiskey reviews. So I've brought this along tonight. Stone in. It's a Danish rye whiskey and it's 48%. I've got a little in for cardio. So we'll have a read of it. So it's an ex bourbon and virgin oak cask designed to be a liquid embodiment of Danish rye bread. This whiskey is made from 70% rye and 30% barley, both of which are floor malted at the Stoning Distillery. The effect is bread rye, a spice with a noticeable lick of dark hedgerow fruits and just the right amount of oak to complement. Tastes like toasted oak, pretzel and blackcurrant. That does sound very interesting. Right, let's give it a pour. To complement it, I brought along a few truffles. This one is caramel haze. I've said it before on the channel. For those of you who don't know, chocolate and whiskey is a thing. A good kick to it. It's strong. It's different as well. It's, you could taste the oakiness, yeah. I quite like it actually. It's half past midnight. I don't want to go to bed. I'm just really enjoying this camp. It's been nice. But well, the rain coming down on the top. Fire's burning nice. The water's lapping up against the shore. It's just a lovely camp. Just really enjoying it. Didn't sleep very well last night, so I'm gonna have a nice strong cup of coffee. I brought the Vietnamese coffee with me again. I've got powdered coconut milk, which actually works. Gives it a nice flavor.
I've messed my coffee up. <laughs> That's absolutely disgusting. Something I always do when it's filtering through, I put the cup on top of the stove on a very low setting to keep it hot. And I must have added a little bit too high because it started bubbling over. So I had all the powdered milk in the bottom. And it must have burnt it. <laughs> it's absolutely, I can't drink it. Yeah, it's disgusting. I'm going to have to make another cup. I've got to have my morning coffee. Take two. That's better. Our first cup was terrible. Yeah, I didn't sleep so well last night. I was up too late. I stayed up till one o'clock. And I think I woke maybe two in the morning. The rain, <laughs> it was hammering down. But I stayed nice and dry under there. It was nice and cosy, nice and snug under there. And I woke again then, four o'clock. Something woke me. I was going to get up, maybe watch the sunrise. I was too tired, so I went back off to sleep. I got up about 20 past six. There's a mountain or a hill up in front of me. And it looks like there's a trail going all the way up to the top. So I just had a map out having a look at it. And I realised that dam in front of me, that's not the one I visited yesterday. That's back in the other direction. There's a road leading down to this one. So when I leave later, I may take a drive down there, take a look at it. We're not having the best of summers, are we? It's actually quite cold. Now it started raining. I remember last July, I booked three weeks off last July to go hiking and it rained for the whole of July. And June, June hasn't been the best. We've had the heating on some days in the house. I think we just had two days heat wave and it went back to cold and gloomy the next day. Yeah, we don't get summers and winters like we used to, do we? Well, I think this rain's gonna start coming in heavy. So I'm gonna pack up Thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll see you out on the next camp. I've lost my dog. There he is. <laughs> 